Jango Fett was chosen to have his DNA used in the creation of the clone army for the use of the Galactic Republic and ultimately the destruction of the Jedi. But why was he chosen for such an important role? Ten years before the start of the Clone Wars, Darth Sidious tasked his new apprentice Count Dooku in recruiting a template that was capable of killing Jedi, so that his or her DNA could be used for the clone army. Along with that, he ordered his apprentice in destroying a force-worshipping cult that went by the name of Bando Gora. Sidious saw them as a threat to his plans and wanted them to be eliminated as quickly as possible. The Bando Gora was actually run by Count Dooku's former Padawan, Komari Vosa, who had also fallen to the dark side prior to her departure from the Jedi Order. Seeing that anyone who was capable of killing her would also be capable of killing a Jedi, Dooku saw the opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. So he set up a contest, with the goal being to kill Komari Vosa, and whoever would accomplish this would not only be given a massive sum of credits, but also the opportunity to be cloned for an entire army. To ensure that the best candidates were a part of this competition, Dooku sent out a few personal invitations to some of the galaxy's best bounty hunters, including Jango Fett. The reason he contacted Jango was because many years earlier, when Dooku was still a Jedi, he witnessed Jango Fett kill scores of Jedi in the Battle of Galidron, some with just his bare hands. So he definitely made sure that this Jedi killer got the invitation. After agreeing to hunt down Komari, Jango unsurprisingly was able to subdue her and quickly took her as a prisoner. But before he was able to deliver her, Count Dooku, who secretly watched the entire fight go down, force choked her to death and revealed himself to Jango. Initially confused as to why Dooku would hire a bounty on someone he could easily kill himself, Jango demanded to be paid. But before Dooku did, he explained to Jango the whole purpose of this bounty and offered him to have his DNA be used for a clone army and that he would be paid even more for accepting this offer. At first Jango refused not wanting to deal with the Jedi, due to what they did to his people many years before. Jango then attacked Dooku, poisoning the Sith Lord with a deadly plague. But this poison wasn't much of a threat to Dooku, who was easily able to remove its effects from his body through the Force. Impressed with this, Jango decided to listen to Dooku's offer. After giving it much thought, Jango agreed, but only if he were to receive one unaltered clone for himself a clone who would eventually become Boba Fett. Working with the Kaminoans on Kamino, Jango not only provided his DNA, but he also provided expert combat lessons and drills for the clones. He even inspired the clone armor design through his Mandalorian armor. Thus, the clone army was not only extremely obedient and knowledgeable in warfare, but they also knew how to take down a Jedi due to being cloned and taught by the infamous Jedi killer, Jango Fett. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.